Okay, the butter is all crumbly. It's like this. Now I'm gonna get this, this says flour and salt with a stick of butter. Now I'm gonna get oh anywhere from six to eight tablespoons of icy cold water and slowly add it till it starts to make a ball. Drop the phone, please hold. Adding more water. Now I'm gonna fold in two more cups of flour. Now it's all crumbly, so we're gonna add the rest of the cold water. And it'll start to get to be a big ball. So I'm gonna keep adding the cold water until we get the same thing again in the big All right, so now it's in a bowl. I'm going to put that bowl on a plate and put the pl put it in my fridge for 30 minutes and let it chill out. So that will be the whole pie crust, the bottom and the top. I'll separate it into. So right now I have this bowl filled with three cups of chopped up rhubarb. I also have two cups of frozen mixed berries that I have that I'm gonna add. And then also I have some tapioca starch. And I'm gonna add um, about a quarter cup of tapioca starch to this. Now, if you don't have tapioca, you can get, you can use cornstarch. The difference is, is tapioca won't um, make it cloudy. The cornstarch will make it kind of cloudy, but it'll still taste the same, nice and yummy. Uh, so what that tapioca or cornstarch is gonna do is, when, when rhubarb cooks, it can get kind of soupy. A fruit, a fruit pie can get kind of soupy. And so that tapioca will suck up all that soupiness and keep it more um, solid. So you can eat it more like a piece of pie. So I'm gonna add a quarter cup of tapioca and a cup of sugar. And that's my pie filling for a wild berry rhubarb pie. Okay, so here comes the cup of sugar. And this will sit for about 15 minutes and it'll pull out the moisture and it'll become a sugary kind of syrupy sauce. And the wild berries that come in these frozen berries, they're strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, pitted dark street, okay, I hear street, a street might mean something. Pitted dark sweet cherries, and pomegranate, how do you say that, arrows? Pomegranate pieces. All right, so the sugar has been added. Now here's the tapioca. You sprinkle the tapioca in there. Mix it up. And now we got our pie filling going. In about 15 minutes, it'll look a little bit different. And then our crust will be ready to start rolling out. Oh my God, it's gonna be good. So here's what the fruit looks like after it's sitting with all that stuff for a little bit. It's got a little bit of syrupy goo. 
tapioca's mixed with it. And it's all ready to go in the pie. So I have the oven turned on. I'm gonna take my pie crust out and start rolling out the pie crust.
you want to see my pie?